Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more reading the My Hero Academia manga. This is chapter 373. Nice, it's boom, 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 like 373. Yeah, whatever. Um, I wasn't actually expecting to record this tonight because the last few chapters for this series, at least in regards to TCB scans, which is what I always use, uh, have come out very late. And I mean like 5 to like 8 a.m. Pacific time late because that used to be like 12 to 2 a.m., right? And that's what I'd always stay up for. So here I was tonight just finishing up some miscellaneous tasks that I had, and I got a notification from my Discord. By the way, link in the description if you want to join the Discord, that the chapter was up. So, of course, flipped on the camera, and let's get after it. Uh, we had a two-week wait last, uh, as you guys know. Uh, by the way, sorry if the lighting is all weird, and I feel like, like there's like weird shadows in my face. It's just... I didn't really prepare. Um, uh, yeah, we had a two-week wait. Last we left off, uh, present Mike and Spinner were making a mad dash for Kurogiri, and I said I said this in the chapter. Like, I think Spinner is the saddest. I even titled the the video of this. Spinner is the saddest character like in the entire series. <laughs> Um, he just has had such a miserable existence. Now, other people have had miserable existences, uh, like twice, and you can argue Aizawa and stuff, but Spinner has, like, the reason I, I stand by this, I got flack for this, like, I, I think he is the saddest character in the series. He's been manipulated, he has no friends, no goals, uh, he's accomplished very little, if anything, as, as a character in the series, and he, here he is, like, just desperately still just trying to please people who really don't give a shit about him. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of tragic in a way, but like, that's just, that's okay though. It's okay to have a character. That's just like, it has got nothing going for him because he is the king of sadness. He like, you can have, and you can argue about if Spinner's even a good character, but you can't argue that he is, he is like the king of sadness of just being pathetic. You know, that's, you know, wear that, wear that on your chest. Wear it proudly. So, uh, how does that leave us here? Well, uh, we can see here with this first color page, cause I, this is the one thing I've been staring at for the past two minutes. Uh, we have a color page. His body is dyed with darkness itself. As we get a great shot of Kurogiri slash Shirakumo. Um, it's, it's like, it's really haunting actually. It's like the corpse of Shirakumo, but it's like slowly morphing into Kurogiri. Uh, it's actually a really good shot. It's really sad though. Like if you haven't already, please go read Vigilantes, like all of it, not just the Shirakuma part, but like it's kind of sucks that the people have to read Vigilantes to understand more about Shirakumo. Like I don't really get why they did that, but they did. Anyway, so we're focusing on Shirakumo, it seems like. Who will he take control? We've had hints that he will regain control of the body, uh, if not at the very least sort of wrestle with, with this new Kirogiri personality. Um, if I had to make a prediction, I think that initially Kirogiri will help the villains because I think that's where this is leading. But maybe after that, like he'll be able to get control. But after that, like the damage is already going to be done at that point sort of the deal. Um, that's my guess. So let's just dive on in. I don't, Oh, chapter three, 373 friends. Okay. I feel like we're going to get a lot of, uh, present Mike stuff here. First page, we get Shoji back out on the battlefield along with Koda. Uh, Koda's using his birds to pin down that commander guy. And it looks like Shoji is either fighting people or trying to get them to calm down. It's not really sure at the moment. Uh, Spinner entered the hospital. I'll go after him. We get, we see a voice from present Mike. Okay. So this is probably just before where that last chapter left off. You guys hold the others back. Present Mike leaves the rest of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, someone's coming up behind Shoji with some sort of bat or like, ha like hammer shovel something. Uh, and that's cool. You can see the eye on the back of Shoji's head. Cause he's always got an eye on the back of his head. Literally. Uh, he grows it from like one of his arms. So he sees it coming. Um, Oh, wow. Someone blocked it. Okay. So looks like some of the rioters are beginning to turn because, uh, by the way, the guy who's swinging this hammer, he, he doesn't look mad. He looks kind of like sad or like desperate. 
with the expression on his face. And that's kind of the vibe I've gotten from a lot of these rioters. They don't necessarily seem evil or anything. They seem very manipulated. Um, and the guy who stopped him is another one of the rioters. That's the pig face guy who we saw in the last chapter or two. Um, he's the one who stops the hammer from hitting. I'm going to call it a hammer. I don't really know what this is. Stops the hammer from hitting Shoji in the back of the head. And then we get a shot of a bunch more rioters mixed in with some police. And they're sort of just like, uh, looking at what just happened. They're not, they're not even fighting anymore. They're just like standing there. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Uh, I can cool. <clears throat> and then the pig guy who's, who's sweating. He, again, he looks so sad. I hate it. <laughs> he looks so like he doesn't want to be here, but he, he feels that he needs to. Um, I, I don't, he says, and as everyone's looking on at the, uh, the hole in the hospital, um, and then he continues, I don't think I'm making good use of my rage as we get <clears throat> all the rioters who enter the building. And remember the ones who enter the building saw the doctors and stuff hand in hand. Uh, even the ones who were heteromorphic types. So it looks like they went in with spinner. The lat this, this looks like the last of the people who like were following him. And even they're starting to turn back now. They just don't feel, I think Shoji's words reached everyone. Can we agree with that? Like, it seems like Shoji really did a good job reaching these people. Even Shoji has a, a shocked look on his face. Um, so everyone who broke into the hospital looks like they're slowly coming back. They're kind of like hunched over, like they're very sad. Um, <clears throat> the commander guy who's on the ground pinned by code on the bird says, don't let them intimidate you. Don't stop moving. Follow our leader. He's shouting all those who've ignored our pain are en our enemies as well. Now is the, now is the time to let them know. Think about all the violence you've suffered. Pig guy rebuttals. I'm, I feel bad calling a pig guy, but we don't have a name for him. Pig guy says, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. I've been attacked multiple times for no reason at all. Just the thought of it makes my blood boil. But, oh, and then we get all the people standing side by side with Shoji and they're grabbing his hands. Oh, that's awesome. And even, oh, dude, Shoji, you're a hero. I mean, you're, you're already a hero, but you're like a hero to these people now. Like, that's great. Will you laugh at me too and say I'm frivolous? Is frivolous an insult? I thought frivolous was like, like happy. I don't maybe I have the word wrong. I frivolous. Are you going to laugh at me too? And I'm saying frivolous. I don't know what. Hmm. <clears throat> Shoji looks on with a just wide expression. He, I think he's very surprised that he's being supported here. Um, I won't deny that I got excited over that call to action, says the pig guy in quotations, because inaction is part of the problem. I thought it was finally time to strike back on this world that mistreated us. After all, we finally had a leader. She's referring to Shoji, uh, not Shoji, uh, Spinner. And now we get a shot of Shoji, whose eyes narrow. He's less shocked. He closes his mouth and looks forward. He's become that leader. That's, that's so great. I... I can't help but think that like here we are in this final war and even though we have like all this stuff focused on Deku and whatnot, this is going to set the stage for the type of like heroes that Shoji and other people are going to become after the series is done, which is really cool. And I think that's the vibe I'm getting here. Like so Shoji's going to be like an activist for heteromorphic types. That's just so cool to think about. Um, but there's got to be a better way. Don't care. Oh, he's thinking back to uh, when Spinner was like, don't care, <laughs> like a big dummy. I don't know anymore. Is the whole world really my enemy? <laughs> now I feel like there are some people that I don't want to cause any harm to. And then the commander, who's clearly desperate at this point, is shouting back, that octopus, or he thinks to himself, that octopus guy got to them. Even though we made sure to radicalize them to the point that their fever would become a wall against logic. That fever would make us reign supreme. And now he shouts, stop that right now. Don't be rational. <laughs> Don't be rational. <laughs> yeah, this guy's spitting on fumes. He ain't got nothing to say. <clears throat> and we get, uh, oh, it looks like there are some people still riding, actually. Because uh, we get some of the, like a crowd with the sticks and the heads on them and stuff. Uh, 
It's the girl that I've... I'm surprised they haven't shown her much yet. It's like a, the bug-headed head, lady. Uh, she's in this crowd. She's she's yelling, why are you stopping? This is our revolution. Keep moving forward and tear it all down. Okay, so they're they're all ignoring her too. They actually all stopped. Um, she's one of the loyalists for the PLF, I guess. I guess that makes sense. She was in the first war, so... Pig Guy continues, Was I wrong for coming here? Should I have stayed at the shelter without saying a word? As we see Soji just sort of like looking up, just like <clears throat> letting it kind of like sink in, I guess. <coughs> Very sorry. I'm like dealing with allergies and like I breathe in a lot of cold air because I've been outside. Um, oh, Shoji's crying. Whoa. Okay. He's not, he not just taking in the, I mean, he is taking in the moment, but he's like actually tearing up right now. He says, the feeling that gathered you all here today was neither wrong nor useless. I guarantee you the I guarantee you that. Dude, look at Shoji. The fact that no light has ever shone on us has hurt us immensely for a long, long time. I'll carve your words deep within my heart. I'm sorry I failed to notice your struggles. One of the heroes says to the the captain guy. You kept fighting without giving up on thinking. And to me, you were shining brightly throughout it. Let's use that light to change the people who hurt us. So that they'll feel ashamed to ever raise their fist against us again. And we got a shot of rock lock and we get like a narration. They were getting fired up, but now damn, it's just like, damn all like, the, the pan back shot where it shows the entire street, there's still thousands of people, but it's like no fighting anymore. It's just like, they're all just kind of standing there. Wow, look at what Shoji did. First of all, the heroes here were outnumbered. And like you just, even I thought, okay, this is going to end with just them like breaking in easily, defeating them and getting uh, Kurogiri out. But no, like, at least in terms of the outside, the, the heroes won. Fighting stopped. Impressive. Rocklock keeps thinking. All we were thinking was how to overcome them by force. And then he shouts, reinforcements, move out to the hospital. And we're cutting back into the hospital. Okay, so we're cutting right to it. And it looks like President Mike hits uh, um, Spinner in the back with a sound wave. And it looks like the device that he was going to use to wake up uh, Kurogiri gets destroyed during this. Dang. Oh, I wonder if this noise will like wake up Kurogiri. There are so many possibilities with this. Dude, uh, I, I don't even have any predictions. I, I think, like I kind of said before, I think that initially he'll like wake up and be evil and help them. Because some, some people th theorize that those stars that are appearing by Shigaraki are actually like portals from Kurogiri. I mean, I don't really know about that, but I guess we'll have to keep going and find out. Ah, the recorder with recordings from All for One and Shigaraki. And Spinner is just lying on the ground. Without it, we can't make we can't wake up Kurogiri. And we get a shot of Kurogiri just sitting there in his restraint jacket and the chair. If worse comes to worse, and it seems like Kurogiri will be freed. Oh, I'm I'm guessing they got orders to like like take him out, I guess if, if he might get freed because it'd be too dangerous. Aizawa says, not Aizawa, present Mike. Sorry. Present Mike says he hasn't reacted since that day. Maybe he's already completely broken. Oh dude. Spinner's like shrinking. He's shedding the Godzilla scales that were on his body and he's looking all small and feeble and sad, which is again, sad. It's like the theme of his character. Um, me mind getting blank. Uh, he says, me body don't obey me. Dude, he, he's even got like the, dude, he's got the eyes of uh, uh, Shao Tucker's daughter from um, Full Metal Alchemist. You know, like the, when it, she becomes the dog and she has like those blank white eyes. That's like, the, they straight up gave Spinner those eyes right here as he's lying on the ground. That's like pretty damn sad. That the end of the line as we get a shot of Kurogiri and there's a hand on the ground. Did he bring Shigaraki's hand with him? No one follow me no more. 
Kurugiri won't wake up. Well, Kurugiri won't not wake up. Terrible grammar. Um, we got a, a shot, a picture of Dobby saying, so what you're saying is that you're basically, that basically you're just an empty cosplayer. <laughs> that whole time, my heart was totally empty and we see him playing video games alone. Me were, me were caught up in the moment. That's why me rose to action. But now me think all me ever wanted was to keep following him to where him is right now to be able to reach he. <laughs> I love this like broken English. Um, as we got a shot, a close up shot of the hand, uh, it's all black and scorched. Is this the, this? I think only one hand survived the first war. I think it was the one that they put on Shigaraki at the end. I don't know what family member's hand it is. I'm going to assume it's Nana's because I think the dad's was destroyed. I think that's the one he crushed in his hand, that one epic shot. I think this is supposed to be Nana's that survived. I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me. Spinner, stop moving, says present Mike. And then he thinks to himself, splitting them up was essential to our plan. This is the final step. Oh, and we get it. Here we go. We got a Shirakumo shot of all the three dumb egos in, in, uh, in high school. Hey, Shirakumo, did you know Aizawa lost an eye and a leg? He thinks to himself. So please don't make him lose the good memories he has. If you're not Shirakumo anymore, I'd like you to disappear as a memory. But if you're still our friend from back then, as it looks like he's getting ready to unleash an attack, Oh, no, a spinner, ain't done for, a spinner ain't done for the count yet. He gets up, grabs the hand. I imagine he's going to stick it on uh, maybe uh, Kurogiri here. As we get a, a flashback of uh, some various moments that he's sort of witnessed and talked to Shigaraki, which is so weird. I, I feel like I still feel like they skipped so much like post-war until this war. I feel like there was more information they could have like shared. There was the whole time. Like, I don't know when this is that they're showing. Cause they show like when Shigaraki was like growing, like he was like morphosizing or whatever in the cave, like agonizing in pain. And this is when he was like talking to all for one, like what's wrong with him, all that. Uh, and then here they are sitting on like rocks next to each other, like talking. When was that? I don't know. It could have been around that time. I, I feel like, I just feel like there's some stuff that could have been shared, but you know, it's too late for that. Let's save Shigaraki. Yeah. As he's putting, like I thought he's about to put the hand on him and others. Shirakumo thinks present Mike. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, it's actually, it's waking him up. He's breaking out of the restraint jacket and the chair and everything. And he's like becoming all misty. Like, and it looks like we're actually getting some of uh, Shirakumo's face reading revealed here. <clears throat> Chapter 373 end. Whoa, really? I am the one who protects, who protects Tomura Shigaraki. Whoa, hold up. There's some, there's some things going on here. Um, okay, right when it says I am is a little like Mark saying... Here, Kurgir uses or Shirakuma's first person pronoun. So the person talking, whoa. That's an interesting way to go about this. So they have Shirakumo as the one who's talking. But obviously it's like, it's, it's uh, Kurgiri who's in control. Um... So he's saying, I am the one who protects Tomura Shigaraki. And the final panel, Spinner laying on the ground, again, just all energy gone. He used whatever energy I had left for that. Kurgiri joins the battle. The war reaches a new stage. <sighs> Man, what a chapter to come back to. So we're entering a new stage again. I feel like we've entered a new stage a few times. Like when All for One revealed he had a rewind. Or when Shigaraki revealed that he could transmorph his body. Or now when Deku's appeared. 
Uh, and now again with, with, uh, <laughs> Kuragiri, obviously, okay. Oh, there's so many ramifications to this. Okay. First off, the first thing that comes to mind is clearly this is how Dobby is going to reach Endeavor. Cause remember when Dobby rewoke first thing, he was like, where's Kuragiri? Uh, like, how, like, no, where's Endeavor? And then he asked about Kuragiri or whatever. Um, I wonder how this is all going to tie into like skeptic out here moving different bunkers around and like there's just so many moving pieces and I, I pray. Okay. So clearly, I mean, not clearly, I think it's safe to assume that next chapter we're getting a location change. Maybe not at the beginning, maybe the first half of the next chapter will be like him waking up and then starting to activate the portals and then we'll cut to like somewhere else. I still want Mina and Kirishima versus Gigantomachia. This fool. I've been, I can't, I feel like I've been waiting so long for that. Um, by the way, stay tuned for mine tomorrow when I react to chapter 280 animated and 279. 280 animated. It's going to be glorious. I hope you guys stop by and check out that reaction. Um, that's going to be fun. Wait, it's so long for that. It's like one of, I'm a, one of my most... One of the most anticipated chapters I, I've, I can ever think of for the anime, and I can't wait. Um, but anyway, back to this chapter. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Again, sorry, I got like very sensitive throat right now. Um, yeah, like the warp, warp. This is warp gate is so useful in a war to be able to, tr to like transition resources from different spots and different battlefields. It's just like, like, let's say Shirakuma took control and he had a warp. Theoretically, he could like warp all the, like Mirko and all the wounded people who are like near death out of that zone, get him some medical care. Uh, even Bakugo, like, I, I guess he's being repaired, but like maybe he could like warp into recovery girl. She gives him a smooch. And then he gets right back on his feet. Yeah, something, something like that. I don't know. I'm just like thinking out my ass here. Um, but there, the problem is, I, okay. So what I think is going to happen is honestly, I think we're going to leave this for a while. Like we're going to not, this will be a cliffhanger for a good 10 or so chapters. The reason is we still haven't even gotten half the other battlefields. So it make no sense for him to start warping people around. We still need the Mina Kirishima location update. Have had no progress there whatsoever. We need, um, thankfully, we got uh, the Shoji one actually out of the way. Uh, I don't, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like we actually got it done. Like that was good progress. Um, the Toga Uraka fight kind of, sort of started, but not really. I mean, I mean, we had like a preamble to it, so that still has a majority of itself to go. Uh, we have the, the stadium or whatever. I don't know if it's the stadium that they held the, the sports festival at. That'd be awesome, but I don't think it is. Um, that's where Saro and like uh, Sugar Rush and a few other people are at. I uh, haven't had any updates there. Uh, we, I mean, we still have the Primal for one. Like, props to Horikoshi for juggling so many plot lines like in a row. It just, in the moment, it sucks so bad waiting for him because you just like, hmm. And don't get me wrong. I, I think this is a really good side ply here with Shoji. And it looks like we're pretty much wrapped up with it. And it lasted what? Like, including this chapter, about six chapters? Or is it five? Five or six? I can't remember. I lost count. Um, but yeah, not bad. Um, makes me excited because if Shoji gets this much development, I think Mina is set up for such even more development because she's already had things to like work off of to build up to whatever it is that she's going to do. Shoji didn't really um, like, and I, I get all the complaints where it re like the whole racism plot line really wasn't set up. Um, that said, I think it was still a cool thing to tackle because obviously in this world of quirks, racism about quirks and stuff like that is going to be a thing. So, Hey, they, they took their time. They, they told it really well. And I think that Shoji in the future is going to be, like I said, a big factor in change in the world, which is really cool. That's like such a cool way to be a hero. Uh, obviously he could just, he could still do fighting and whatever he wanted to do too. But he's, he's beholden to no one. Um, 
Oh, let's see, man. I, like, like I said, warp just opens so many gates. Ha! Warp gate. That was such a shitty pun. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I don't. I I don't got nothing else to say really. Then I, I I'm anticipating a location change. I think this side arc was very solid. Uh, I'm not gonna lie; I won't say it's my favorite thing ever, but I'm I'm always happy to see side characters develop and grow and whatnot. And I I think that this specifically like Shirakumo stuff. Uh, obviously, Aizawa and Present Mike are gonna like gonna have some sort of re- resolution here. It's just so sad because it's like it's really apparent that like. Shirakumo is like literally dead. Like he's just like a reanimated corpse. He's like Frankenstein, which, you know, if the monsters told me anything or it was the monsters or Ad- no, it wasn't Adam family. It was the monsters. Uh, he could still live a fulfilling kind of undead life. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you want to say it, but uh, yeah, uh, again, all I want to say, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Leave your thoughts down below. And uh, I don't think there's a break. It doesn't say there's a break next week. So, yeah, I'll be here next Friday reacting to the next chapter. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, it's been Mighty Gazelle. I think you all have a mighty day. See you guys.